Hey everybody, welcome to Stars Touch. I wanted to go ahead and just show you my book. I know I've talked about it a few times, but it's Touched by a Star on Amazon. And I'm gonna pull a page open in it today just to see what story pops up. So let's see what we need. What do we need for today? <laughs> so much fun, okay, honestly. Light Guardians. And I'm not sure if I'm close to the camera. I'm trying to do this um, different today. So hopefully you can see this. It is a picture of the dome light and it's typically always white. But for me, I started seeing where the colors would turn color. Every quadrant would be either pink or green in different times. And I took a picture and it shows the different auras around that light at the time of. But this is just a lot about, um, you know, Things where I was missing my mom terribly and I always associated the color pink with mother green with Archangel Raphael and yeah just having so much gratitude for knowing that my guardians and my angels are right there with me all the time and sometimes you know it'd be difficult to sit and stare at a white light and I'm sure it's not that good for your eyes but all of a sudden for it to turn a full quadrant pink green and sometimes light blue I'm telling you the things that happened in this book are just so so amazing and it helps me know there's a lot more out there than just nothing when you wake up you can go out the door ask for a message a feather a coin something to say you know a loved one to reach out to you in some way or or just to get a message of what you need for the day I just love it I'm gonna pull a card out of the Colette Baron Reed spirit of the animal animal spirit Oracle <laughs> I've got two spirit animal decks so it gets a little confusing let's just see what we come up with today what is it we need Horse spirit, freedom is yours. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty card. I hope you can see it. And it says number 33 on there. All right. And sending out healing then to your solar plexus to give you that confidence today. When horse spirit appears, you are gifted with the spirit of movement and freedom. It's a time for travel and adventure, whether that means a trip somewhere or taking a different type of journey, one of, one of freedom of choice. Horse spirit reminds you that no matter what your circumstances are, you have free will and choices that can take you far away to a better place, a better situation, a better state of being. For there is no one but you to rein in on your will to make a different decision. You are capable of making powerful choices that will affect you for a long time to come. Horses are social animals and known to be a friend to mankind, willing to carry us forward when we need it. Horse spirit reminds you that help will be available to you whenever you need it and companions will be by your side whenever you choose to go, whatever direction you choose to travel. Life is an adventure, and Horse Spirit wants you to know that whatever choices you make, you have great spirit within, invisible yet holding you up and always walking by your side. If your inquiry is about a relationship, you can set your heart free to experience love in all forms. Spirit whispers to you that the gift of freedom is yours if you allow yourself to break out of your perfectionism and stubbornness. Make a move and enjoy the freedom of letting go of the need to control. Wow. <laughs> freedom. I love it. All right. <laughs> yes, it's just a matter of surrendering it over, you know, and just free. Be free. Like they say, dance freely. Do something that you just typically wouldn't do. Take a little risk now and then, right? <laughs> Spirit of the Animal Oracle. All right, let's take a look. Which one? Which one do we need for today? All right, and it's Polar Bear, Mystic. Now that one was upside down, so I will read the contrary questions. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. Polar bear. All right, and the contrary questions. Sending out to our hearts. Did you forget that you need to spend time alone? Has too much activity got you cranky? Be sure to rest. Is something not smelling quite right? Ask your totem for clarity. Make time for dreaming in solitude. Yes, just quieting our minds for a moment. 
and asking, you know, what do we need today? I can open any Bible. When I ask that question, it doesn't have to be the special devotional for today's date. I put my hand on anything. It can be my Bible. It can be my devotional and just say, what do I need today? And when I open it, the message is so clear. It's just amazing. I just wish this on everybody to be able to go ahead and just ask these questions. It's so helpful and it makes life fun. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Heaven and earth, raising one up and one down. And release. And again. And release. And blow out the venom. Elbows out, breathing in. And release. And again. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.